Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. And today we are going to talk about internet connectivity issue. So you might have seen a problem where uh, you are connected to Wi-Fi, but your internet doesn't work. So let's see how can we fix that problem. So if you can see my screen, I'm already connected to a Wi-Fi, right? And I'm trying to search something on my browser. And when I search it, I see uh, the site doesn't work. So this is a very common problem we came across uh, every now and then. So let's see how can you fix that. So the first option I can go to internet. I can search for internet option. Okay. Click on that. Under connection tab, click on LAN settings and check for proxy server. So make sure that use proxy server is uh, unchecked. So I'll uncheck this. So for me it was checked. I'll uncheck this. I'll say okay. I'll say okay here and I'll try to run it again. Yeah, it worked. But for many of you, it might not work. So let's uh, switch to method number two. So for method number two, I'll go to control panel. I'll click on control panel, uh, click on network and internet, go to network sharing center. So, and you can go to the, your uh, selected Wi-Fi. For Windows 11, uh, I think you can click on it and your property window will pop up. But Windows 10 and below you have to do a right click and then you'll, you can get to the property. So I'll go to properties, okay? And I'll search for IP4. So this is where it is. I'll click on properties and I'll make sure that obtain an IP address automatically is selected. And in DNS, you have to select use the following DNS server. So I'll give a DNS server name here. And uh, let me give it for Google one. So I'll give an alternate as well to this. I'll say, okay, I'll say close, close. I can do one thing. You can click on disable and then enable uh, the Wi-Fi just to a reset. This should definitely fix your problem. So if your problem still persists, right? So we can go to method number three. Uh, we can go to command prompt. So make sure you're opening command prompt in admin mode. If you're not opening command prompt in admin mode, that might not work. So we'll quickly run through a few commands and see how it goes. Okay, so the first command is N-E-T-S-H, W-I-N, S-O-C-K, Winshock reset. Okay, the command it's, it's it has done the uh, successful reset. In order to, you might have to restart, but we'll do it later. The next command is N E T S H I N T I P reset. So this will do your IP reset. Okay. Yeah, this is okay. The next command we can do for Reset log so we can reset IP log so same command NETSH and then we'll append a reset log dot txt enter If your uh, second command which was used to reset the IP if that hasn't worked then also you can try uh, the third command to reset the log Okay, then we'll do a DNS flushing. For that, you can use IP config forward slash DNS FL flush. So this will this will flush your DNS. Okay, and then we'll run another command to release all used IP. So that will that is IP config forward slash release. So this will release all your uh, used IP addresses or which are uh, in use. So that will release that and it will make it clean. Now uh, we need to add run another command to renew a new IP address. So IP config slash renew. And this will renew a new IP address to you. 90% in 90% of the cases, right? this whatever steps I have demonstrated till now will fix your internet issue. But still, if that is not fixed, one last step I'll, I'll say is go to device manager. Okay. 
and we need to do a drivers update for network adapters so go under network adapters and for these two ethernet and wi-fi try to update the driver right click say update driver search automatically for the driver so in my case i'm you my driver is up to date so it's there's nothing to update but if there is something comes up uh, to update the driver please do update the driver this should definitely fix your issue okay thank you all thanks for watching this video